morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the albino look. I am so excited to show you this. I've been waiting so long just preparing all these videos just to show you guys this tutorial. So let's get to it. So first things first, I have to block my eyebrows. I have a whole detailed video about it so you can go check it out if you haven't already. You don't have to follow it but my method of eyebrow blocking is a bit different from what I've seen other people do throughout the internet. And it may not look like it, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't think you guys understand how grateful I am. If you haven't followed me long enough, then you may not know that I posted briefly on Instagram and Snapchat about my LASIK surgery a couple months ago. I'm so amazed by the fact that I don't have to be an inch away from the mirror in order to do my makeup and that I can wear contact lenses without prescription. It's honestly the best investment I've ever made for myself and the first move so that I could start doing YouTube videos like this for you guys. So I really appreciate everyone who has stuck with me throughout the years just waiting for this child to happen. And right now it's really obvious that I'm just painting my entire skin white. I'm using Maron's Paradise Paint. I'm bringing the paint down my neck, chest, and shoulders with a flat brush just making sure that I'm covering everything evenly. time to put these ears to use. I'm applying some prosthetic glue onto my ear and on the edge of the ear that I made. If you'd like to see how I made these ears, go check out my video. It's in the description box below. In my ear tutorial, I mentioned how I wish I could have made the latex flaps longer. And here's what I meant by that. If it were longer, I wouldn't have had to try to stretch and hide the gaps. It could have been a lot more seamless if it were longer so that I could glue it down and then trim off the excess. But if you did this mistake like I did and your hair is going to cover them, then this little boo-boo isn't a problem. But the longer the flap, the better placement you will have to glue it down securely and it's going to be easier for your ears to stick up how they're supposed to. Now that my ears are attached, I can start covering them with the same white paint. Maron's white paint has a very soft finish and I still want to keep it but since I want it to be more white I'm going to go over it with Europeans Body Art Endora white alcohol paint and this and also use their airbrush because it's my favorite airbrush I would never trade this airbrush for anything else next I'm going to be using the Lime Crime Venus palette this is pretty much the only palette I'm going to be using to create this look I'm using the color Venus and I'm putting it above my crease, right underneath where my eyebrow is. And pulling it out to my temples and down to the sides of my nose as if it were contour. I start out with very little at first, then build up the color. And once I'm done contouring the sides, I'm going to go underneath the tip of my nose with the same color and feather it out upward. To intensify everything that I've done, I'm going to add the color creation over it, just in the tip of the bottom of my nose and the outer corners of my eyes. And with the same color and whatever's left of it, I'm just going to mark where I'm going to contour my cheekbones before I go in with a bigger brush to buff it out. I'm basically just contouring as I would with regular makeup. I am adding a little bit of Muse in there, mostly by my temples and my hairline. And to define my cheekbones, I'm just bringing up the cheekbone line to my temples and down to the corners of my mouth. Adding some icon in there just to define more of that cheekbone crease. And I'm going to be using the same concept throughout the rest of my neck and chest with the same eyeshadows. Once I'm done feathering out the base colors, I'm going to go with Icon and go underneath the tip of my nose and just putting it on top of my cupid's bow and dragging it down my lip line. Then I'm going to feather out whatever's left on my brush on the bottom lip line. With Icon, I'm just contouring again all the neck muscles and collarbone. And with the color Muse, I'm going underneath my chin and feathering it out downward. I 
I'm still sick, so my voice is still changing. I mentioned that in the last two, three videos. Um, but I am getting better. I'm just happy that I don't have bronchitis. I think it's just the cold. I'm not really sure. I'm using icon between my brows and nose bridge and on the outside corners of my eyes just to make it look more sunken in. During the process, my dog was staring at me uncontrollably. She just couldn't believe who I was. It was so funny. So right now I'm using the iridescent blue from European Body Art. It's also alcohol paint and I love how sheer it is. I'm just applying the color um, where I had contoured but on the edge of it. And this is going to give it a more purpley tone. So it kind of resembles bruises in a way. Now I'm going back in with Icon to redefine all the creases on the ear and going back in to all the same places just to target up a bit the hollowness and contours. Next I'm going to be using NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and putting it in between my Cupid's bow and on my lips and I'm going to be putting it in the center of my neck, collarbones, and muscles and just feathering it all out with my finger. Now I'm going to be curling my lashes and painting them white. I don't have white mascara, so I'm just going to use the same Maron White paint. And now I'm taking ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lipstick in Barracuda and I'm just going to put it in the inside of my lips and feather it out with my finger. Sorry, I'm dancing because I'm listening to my favorite music in the background. So now that I feathered it out, I'm going to go over it with some of Lime Crime's Thalem Velveteen and again just a little bit only in the center and feather it out. taking ColourPop's Super Shock Highlighter in Lunch Money and applying it all over as I would with regular highlighter in all the highest places, pretty much wherever I had put the NYX Jumbo Pencil Milk. With the NYX Epic Ink Liner, I'm going to carefully line my eyes. Since I have weird downcast and hooded eyes, eyeliner is such a struggle for me to put on, which is why I hardly ever wear it. So I was so afraid of messing it up for this look, but thankfully it all came out okay. Off camera, I did add some white NYX liner on top of the black just to make it pop a little bit more. And you'll see that more towards the end of this video.
line, I defined the center parts with the same eyeliner and feathered it out inward with my finger. I also wanted to define my nostrils to make them look a little bit pointy. Even though I'm supposed to use a coal liner for my waterline, I'm just going to go in with my white NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I'm painting these white dots with the Maron White paint, but after a couple of minutes, the color set back to its soft finish and you couldn't really see them anymore. So off camera, I painted them white with the white NYX liner. The last step is putting in my teeth. I have a video of how I made these teeth if you want to check it out. And there you have it, the albino elf. I'm so glad you guys finally get to see this. I've been waiting so long, like so many weeks, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you found this interesting or helpful. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly Tuesday night uploads or follow me on all my social media at Marble Flesh. I have all the materials that I used in this tutorial in the description below, along with some of the links on where you can purchase these items. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye!